electronic warfare techniques are becoming increasingly sophisticated at impacting and incapacitating the mission effectiveness of operational platforms, particularly within the C4ISR spectrum. Military reliance on Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, for operations has led to an increase in both intentional and unintentional interference using GPS jammers to undermine and disrupt enemy positioning, navigation and timing systems. Parallel to this threat is the rise of spoofing, the use of sophisticated techniques to make systems appear to drift off their navigational position. Ships have been spoofed off course, hijacked, pirated by the bad guys, while the good guys could spoof an incoming missile so it doesn't hit its primary target. But spoofing is undermining confidence in current military systems, and Raytheon UK has been working with colleagues to develop the next generation of anti-jamming products designed with this in mind. The result is Landshield. We were able to look at the system at the recent IDEX show in Abu Dhabi, where I got the chance to speak to Raytheon's Josh Chartier, and I asked him, if I was one of the bad guys, why should I be nervous about Landshield? So um, you should be nervous about, uh, about Landshield because Landshield is our uh, kind of next generation anti-jam capability that's going to protect um, uh, our friendly and uh, allied systems, GPS systems from that jamming capability. So where you think uh, you might be able to jam the signal, give us a bad position, Landshield, Landshield Plus provides uh, protection for your GPS signals and, and your GPS systems to give you accurate position navigation and timing so that you can be confident um, in the position um, that you have and you know where you are and it's, it's uh, reporting accurately. So how does it work? <clears throat> right, so um, what Landshield and Landshield Plus, uh, what they do is um, there's two different, there's um, the detection and the defending against uh, a jamming, and there's also an anti-spoofing capability. The anti-jamming capability identifies where, uh, where the jamming is coming from, and then it nulls or blocks that signal, pulling in the correct, accurate feeds from uh, the other GPS satellites, thereby ensuring that you have accurate uh, position navigation timing. For the anti-spoofing, if someone's trying to provide uh, the enemy or the threat is trying to give you fake GPS signals. Uh, Landshield identifies that. And then what it's going to do is it can, again, block those out or uh, ignore those and understands what the accurate satellite signal is, using this accurate satellite signal to give you your correct position and location. So if you have multiple things happening, multiple attacks, mm -hmm. can your Landshield Plus then take them on? Yes, so Landshield Plus can handle um, up to six different um, jamming uh, entities, and, uh, and Landshield does three, so Landshield Plus a little bit bigger, but uh, handles a wider uh, number, a larger number of attacks uh, against the GPS signal. Now you call it Landshield, but in fact it can be used in other places as well. Y yes, absolutely. Um, originally developed for LAN systems, um, because of its smaller size, weight, and power, um, it's adaptable to aircraft platforms, manned and unmanned, as well as ground platforms, um, and additionally to other uh, weapon systems that may need GPS uh, accuracy. And you said about the weight and the size. How small is it and how much does it weigh? Right, so um, Landshield Plus, uh, they're basically about this size. Um, it weighs, Landshield Plus is just under three kilograms. Landshield is a little bit lighter at about two kgs. Um, and again, doesn't require much power. Uh, can replace your GPS antenna that you would already be using for your systems on vehicles and uh, UAVs. And finally, it's, it's working, but these things only last until the bad guys get to work out how to beat them. How long have you got before they catch it? So this is just something that we're continuing to evolve uh, on, and our engineers and team um, continues to determine, kind of see what the current threat is, what the capabilities are, and then are continuing to evolve to what the next generation threats are to our GPS systems.